hi there. Getting ready for Churchill? It's cold there. Probably a lot colder than where you are right now, so you're likely wondering, what should you wear on your adventure? Answer, layers. Layers are important because you'll experience a wide range of temperatures, moving from the warmth of the tundra buggy to the frigid arctic. If you wear just one big, soft, cozy layer, you'll only get two options, on or off. Overheating or freezing cold. Layering allows you to dress for the occasion and control your body temperature. Let's start with base layers. Damp clothes caused by sweating tend to draw the heat out of your body. So base layers that draw the moisture away from your skin are the best. Some fabrics are better at this than others. Whatever you choose, base layers are an important part of your what to wear list. It's the same thing for socks. You may not realize it, but feet can sweat a lot. Bring an extra pair along for the day, just in case. You won't regret it. Now, let's talk about mid layers. Mid layers provide a little bit of insulation and continue to transport water away from your body. You'll want to wear something that fits well. If it's too baggy, all that moisture will collect in your clothes. Your outer layer includes your pants and jacket. These have two jobs. The first is to provide extra warmth, and the second is to block the wind. A jacket that has a durable windproof outer layer and insulation made of down is ideal. Big parkas and pants like this aren't always a great investment if you live in a warm climate, and can be pretty bulky to pack. So don't pack one if you don't feel like it. We've got plenty you can rent when you get here, and they're really nice too. Last but not least, you've got to protect your ears and fingers. In Canada, we call it a toque, but you can call it whatever you want. Wool ones are great and will keep your ears nice and toasty. Mints are usually warmer than gloves because they keep your fingers together, but it's a little hard to move them with all that insulation around them. So having a pair of finger gloves underneath your mitts gives you the best of both worlds, warmth and dexterity. We even have heat packs that you can slip inside your gloves or boots to help warm up. Also, bring a scarf. Or grow a beard so you don't have to bring a scarf. That's it. Now you're set for the Arctic. Or a really awkward day at the spa. See you in Churchill.